What is up, my fellow night dwellers? Catchman here. We're doing another modding in five minutes or less. This time we're looking at the sequel to one of the games I taught you all how to mod earlier. That was Pillars of Eternity. Today we are looking at Pillars of Eternity 2 Dreadfire Attain via Steam. We'll be modding it in two different ways. One via the Steam Workshop, the other manually. Don't forget to use Frenzy to light up that like button. Comment on which modding method you prefer and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Also, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel so far. We're officially at 25 subscribers so far and I'm hoping we can keep the channel growing. Now let's jump into it. Okay, so for this mod, we're going to be doing the Steam Workshop version. We're going to have to start by opening up Steam. You can see here, I'm in my library screen. We're going to go Community, Workshop. We're going to search Pillars of Eternity. Two, Dreadfire. We're gonna go with the most subscribes. We're gonna pick the Heroic Origins mod because it gives us additional stuff off the start for our character creation, so it's easy to validate it works. We're gonna to subscribe to this guy here. Now that we're subscribed, let's go ahead and go to the store real quick. We're gonna search Pillars of Eternity because I'm going to want the app ID. So we've got the app ID of 560130, right? So we're gonna go library. We're going to go to Pillars of Eternity here. We're going to right click on it and we're going to go ahead and browse the local files because I'm wanting to see which directory it's in. So here's the local file for it. It is using my D drive Steam library. So if we go to Steam apps instead and we're going to go to workshop, we're going to go to content. And I'm not seeing 510830 there. Let's go ahead and try starting up the game and see if it's in there, and then I'll have to go do some hunting to see if we can't find the file. All right, let's go ahead and start the new game. Now, if this worked correctly, we should have an additional 30 skill points instead of 17. Let's hope we can do some skippy skippy here. If not, there will be a time skip anyways. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and start from scratch. So we have plus four here. Let me confirm with the mod what exactly we should be looking at. So let's see here, four bonus stat creation points for their race. And there is 30 points. So the mod did work because we are looking at 30 points here instead of the 17. So the question is, where did it go? And we'll take a look to see if we can't find that here in a second. All right. So it's saying it should be in workshop. Was it just not there whenever I was looking? Ah, oh, there it goes. So it does show up in workshop. It just hadn't downloaded yet. So here is the 560130 that we we're looking for. And here is the additional information for the heroic origins. So it did download. There we go. All right, next for manually modding, let's go ahead and go out to Nexus mod. We're gonna view all games. We're gonna go ahead and filter to pillars. Go into Pillars of Return D2. Let's go ahead and find a mod we want. Perfect. This one's actually using it. All right, so we're going to be using the extra quick bar size D pockets by Shadow. And this one actually utilizes the override location versus asset replacement. 
So there's two different ways of doing manual modding. One is asset replacement, where you're actually going to be copying over the type of top of the existing Pillars of Attorney assets. It's very similar to what we did for Pillars of Attorney 1. The other one is override, which is new to this one, where you can actually put mod files in the override location and it'll actually work for you. Let me go ahead and download this guy here. And I'm going to show you the existing quick bar and then this is going to be the extra quick bar. So let me go ahead and show you the current one while that downloads. Okay, so if we go into our inventory for the characters, we can see we have four quick slots with two locked here. Uh, probably the same for this guy, yeah. Four quick slots, two locked. This mod should make it six, so let's go ahead and switch over to the mod. Let's save the game real quick. All right, so then we're going to go into our Steam folder. We're going to go ahead and right click on pillars of eternity dreadfire we're going to browse to local file location we're going to go into the data and we're going to go into override now we go to our download here we're going to go ahead and open this download for the extra quick bar size we're going to copy that folder we're going to paste into the override location now that that's done, let's go ahead and start back up Pillars of Eternity. All right, now if we go back into our character menu, you'll notice those two lock slots are now available, which is what this mod does. It gives the additional quick slots to all characters, so all characters have deep pockets. And that is how you manually mount it for you override. Again, if it's an asset mod, where it's actual asset replacement, you're going to have to put the assets over the top of the other assets. So you're actually going to be replacing the in-game files. It's going to be exactly like how we did it for Pillars of Attorney 1. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at Couch Command, that's CouchTeamD, or feel free to message me on our Discord. It's up at the top of my channel. Don't forget to use Ray of Fire to scorch that like button, comment on which modding method you prefer, and finally hit the subscribe button so you can get more of my weekly modding content. This was Couch Command. You all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.